Okay, let's go. Security Officer River Dog coming in! Hi, I'm Wayne. I'm the head trainer and owner for Intercanine Limited. We're based in Hull, or just outside of Hull, about 20 miles towards the coast. The security dog handling course is a level two and it's seven days long which is 60 hours guided learning hours. So the way we structure this course is you'll have two days of theory, which is the Monday and Tuesday, and that's conducted here in the classroom. And then for the remaining five days, you're gonna be out doing the practical training itself. But it's a mixture of day and night training. We use a live site, which is a haulage site. It's roughly about 10 acres and it's just got everything from your pallet stacks, tyre stacks, trailers, porter cabins and it's, the terrain itself in the summertime it's nice and dry uh, but it's dusty and in the winter time it can get quite puddly so within that the seasonal training program it's, it, you can have a, a totally different site but being on the same site that you're currently at but it can really be a challenge in both seasons uh, summer or winter time because we like to keep the dogs out there, start learning their the, the inherited potential that they've got. Uh, and instead of using their eyes and their ears, it's more about using the nose to detect a person on the area search. And on that first night of training, uh, we, we basically do walk through, talk throughs, letting the handlers get used to what's going to be coming for the remaining of the course. So things like your basic escorting, your challenges, arrestable offence, trespassing, duty of care and just going through everything where the handlers understand everything before we throw them into the deep end and expect them just to conduct a scenario without any walkthrough talk throughs. Once they become more confident through the course on that first night we then start introducing basic scenarios such as the trespass duty of care as and when to call an ambulance or the police and basically introducing more non-compliant scenarios as the week goes along. On the night of the assessment, we bring the handlers into the classroom first, and if it's a full course, then we will get them to work as a team, such as planning, prepping, going through risk assessments. Uh, we'll, we'll start teaching them so they have to like learn how to share patrol, such as you know, breaking zones down for a handler to patrol, uh, rotation times and things like that. They'll be taught how to communicate on the radios, just basic communication on there and making sure that all the equipment that they need for the night is in order. And then the teams will deploy and we'll go in convoy to the site itself, which is about 30 minutes away. And they'll have a walk around, they'll do the risk assessments, go through everything that they've just been planning and prepping. If there's any changes that need to be made, they can do that on the site. The assessment can go on for quite a long period of time. We, we tend to keep the assessments um, challenging for the handlers. We, we try to get as much patrol out of them as we can. If there's a full course on, then we do obviously have to spend a lot of time making sure all the handlers are getting through uh, the correct assessment for the assessor to see. The purpose of the assessment is to make sure that the handlers understand the safety of handling the security dog. Make sure that they've got the safe distances in, make sure they understand what is an arrestable offence, the legislations, and basically just going through as many scenarios as we possibly can within the assessment in order for them to get the pass. Um, it's not a 100% pass rate. If there's been a safety breach where the hand has got too close to a intruder and you know, there's been a bite or close calls, then we will have to call them back in to do a reassessment.